everybody welcome back to Elizabeth journals I'm Elizabeth and today we are going to walk through my January bullet journal layout for 2020 if you've seen my previous video we walked through the introductory pages however I stopped at the months um, so this time we're just gonna be doing a quick very brief walkthrough of January so January starts right after my products lists in previous years I've been a little bit more artistic and creative with what I've chosen to do. This year I want to be very practical and simple because I am so incredibly busy and in a huge transition transitionary part of my life. So I think um, keeping it simple is just going to be an essential for me right now. So this is my cover or hello page for January. I just did the simple lettering that I've done throughout the other bits of the notebook if you saw my previous video. And then I thought about um, I'm trying out a major dates and events box on here. I like the idea of it. I'm not sure if I'll follow through. So we'll revisit this in February's flip through and see if I actually used it. Next, I kind of just bounced off of where I left off in December. You can go back and watch that video. I started using this layout for my weeklies in, I believe, November. Um, or October, it just became very difficult to keep track of my life using only the boxes that I was previously using, um, or I guess the rows, but. So I, on the left page, have a time tracker for Monday through Saturday, starting at 6.30 a.m. and going until 10.30 p.m. And then I just color in things as they go. Um, the beginning of the year starts off pretty slow, but as soon as my semester starts and I start seeing more clients, this is gonna be so full. It's going to be ridiculous. And then over here is where I keep track of my due dates and all day events. So for instance, the 31st of December is New Year's Eve. I put that down here. And for example, I have a post due January 30th for the blog. Link in the description if you're not aware that I do a blog. But so I highlighted it there in pink if we refer to my key, which you can see again in the last video as well. Pink is business related, yellow is holidays and birthdays, and eventually there'll be a ton of purple and orange. And then green is work. So this is kind of how I went with that. I originally did everything in gold and then it just was too much gold and nothing was distinct enough. So I switched over to black headers and subheaders. Um, and then I stuck to the script in the subheaders as well. All the line work is done in gold though. I may reverse that in February, I'm not sure yet, because all of my other headers are gold. And pretty much I did this for every week, and anything that I have already planned as of December like 20th, um, that's in here. Anything not planned yet is obviously not in here. Then I kind of went plan crazy, which is exciting for me. But I went and started creating a whole bunch of plans. So if you received my newsletter, um, so the last newsletter of 2019, I plan on launching a membership um, kind of system in 2020 in order to make freebies more easily accessible as well as allowing you to save on bulk purchasing and save on custom purchases and this is for at the moment it's not live it, it's going to take a while to actually implement it but this is kind of my plan and i'll have blurred a lot of this so you can't actually see it but i did that and then i also have a couple courses planned for the new year um so i did and this is the launch continued but I did a couple pages where I can plan out those courses in one spot. And then I have a page, some pages for the specific membership plans for me to kind of plan out the content, um, etc. So that is my January 2020 flip through, just kind of a brief overview of what, where my layouts are as of late December and where I plan on taking them. Again, we'll see how this goes with my busy year and also it being such a transitional year. Let me know in the comments below if you have a theme for January and what your plans are for the new year. Like this video if you liked, subscribe if you wanna see more. See you next time.